Mi a killed with uh, Dr. Daniel Florescu to talk about uh, XQuery. Can you tell us the story of XQuery if you can? Short? Short? It's a long story. <laughs> I know. I know that's why I I'll, said I'll short. try to make it short. <laughs> okay. So, the work on mixing XQuery languages started from multiple angles. I did my PhD in Inria, in France, which was the home of object oriented query languages. OQL, which was the standard object oriented language was done in France, in Inria, where I did my PhD. After I did my PhD, I went to AT&T Research, where I met Dan Suchu, who is a professor at the University of Washington now. Dan did his PhD in unstructured query languages. He had a language of his own called UNCO at the time. The yeah, XML... Uh, XML didn't uh, exist at the time. This was okay. Dan finished his PhD in 95, I think. And I finished my PhD in 96. XML didn't exist at the time. When we started working together with uh, Alon Halevi, who is now in Google, and Mary Fernandez, who is still in at and Research, the four of us, we started working on semi-structured databases. XML was still not around. Then we had a language called Struko, the equivalent of SQL for unstructured data. And as soon as XML came around, we said, well, that's a perfect model for us. We took our semi-structured language and we rewrote everything with angle brackets and we called it XMLQL. We submitted to W3C as a technical note and this was what triggered the creation of the XML query language inside the W3C. So this you is what triggered the... You practically are one of the inventors of XMLQL. XMLQL did not make it. XMLQL was just triggered the creation of the working group. And then at the time, the W3C created, uh, made a big meeting in 98, in, in December 97, in Boston, where everybody came from IBM and Microsoft, everybody argued about what should they do. Even from Sun? John Bozak was there from Sun. So, even from Sun? Sun. Tim Berners-Lee was there, Michael Riss was there. Me and Michael Riss were still remaining two ones from that meeting. I'll, I'll show you pictures from that meeting. I'll show you, show you a link. Okay. We made pictures taken by Tim Berners-Lee. Kind of interesting. And at the time, uh, there was a guy in Microsoft who really supported us for making a... Actually, the XQuery wouldn't have existed without Microsoft support. Adam Buzzworth, probably heard about him, mm -hmm. who was the head of... Um, he had the, the data of Internet Explorer at the time Microsoft. He left Microsoft around 2001. At the time, because of Adam Buzzer, because of Microsoft support, they allowed us to, to make this XML query language. He was supporting us very much. Immediately after, I went for sabbatical in IBM Research, where I worked with Don Chamberlain, who was the inventor of SQL. And uh, my boss at the time, it was in the middle of the boom, everybody was leaving to make startups. My boss at the time, Mike Carey, uh, left to go to a startup. He didn't know what to do with me because I was visiting. I was a visiting scientist. I didn't, he didn't know what to do with me after leaving. He said, Why don't you work with Don Chamberlain and do this query language that you always wanted? So I had six months to work with Don Chamberlain and they made another language called Quilt. And Quilt is what gave birth to XQuery later on. Quilt, uh, at, at some point, W3C asked for proposal for XML languages, and there were two proposals, basically. Three proposals. Quilt, a language proposed an extension of SQL, proposed by Oracle at the time. And the third proposal, that probably never knows, made by another Romanian. Wow. Uh, who is now in... Um, um, what's his name, the name of this company? Who do, I'll tell you, the, the, some other, the, another Romanian. Very nice language, actually. <laughs> But Quilt uh, succeeded. And Quilt got all the votes. Oracle was really upset at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and now you are at Oracle. <laughs> I am Oracle. But this was 99, probably 2000, something like that. 2000. 2000. So Quilt made it, changed the name, became XQuery, and then the whole world participated in the creation. I mean, Quilt was a spec written and it was 15 pages. Now XQuery has hundreds of pages. <laughs> Between Quilt and XQuery, it's, it's 10 years of work and a lot of work. Uh, you are still an editor at Absolutely. W3C. XQuery is already a recommendation, so now it's cut in stone, it's a standard.
but now I'm an editor of the, the follow-up extensions. XQuery has an update extension, and what is really important, XQuery has a scripting extension. So XQuery became a full programming language, so you can write full applications in it, which was my original goal from a long time ago. You've made it? I made it. <laughs> okay, so the scripting will become public. The first version of the scripting language will become public in a month, two months, something like that. Oh, so, so recommendation probably in a year, a year and a half later on. XML made it? XQuery made it? What's next? Uh, XML for sure made it. XQuery, the jury is still out, but I think it's going to make it. The, the, it's it's going to make it. It's not going to die for sure. The question is when and how much. can be a little bit or can be a lot. At least in the Microsoft SQL Server world, it's uh, the second version that uh, Microsoft uh, uses XQuery and uh, it uh, supports uh, XQuery. So I think it doesn't support very well XQuery. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, yes. Recently, the the let instruction was uh, the let statement was uh, introduced in SQL Server 2008. I don't have any idea what they didn't include it in 2005. But they support it. I think uh, XQuery they could, it. they could do a better job. <laughs> I know, I know. It's a constant joke with my colleagues, but I understand that sometimes products have different requirements and different pressure. What's next? What's next? Um, in terms of what? In, in this world, how do you see the future of databases of XML, of XQuery? I told you my personal opinion about relational databases. They grew and grew and grew and grew and grew and now they yeah, have... They suddenly they stop. There is Somehow. not much more, many more features that you can put to SQL. It's, it grew to the biggest that it can grow. So it's a XML term? Might be the XML term. A lot of data is in XML those days. So it's more and more data. And there is no project that doesn't involve some XML. But for the moment, XML is still used as a transformation language. It's not yet sure if the data will stay in XML. Okay, but my, my it, bet, it's my a bet choice. Is, uh, right now, people don't have the choice. And if you want to do programming, as long as XQuery is not a real programming language, you still have to use some programming language to do the processing. You need to use uh, C Sharp or Java, JavaScript, something, something else to do the to write the real application logic. Uh, we have in the Microsoft side uh, the link. Uh, link. <laughs> the link, but uh, so all programming languages those days, all programming languages, they have an XML extension. Even in C Sharp, uh, we have um, XQuery methods for the XML data type. But uh, this is not important. So, uh, what is important in my Java is extensioning with uh, JavaScript uh, has a uh, ECMAScript is a JavaScript extension with XML and XPath. Java is extending with XML and XPath. Almost everybody. So it's sure that uh, it's the XML and XQuery time. Uh, I do remember one of the slides that I have. It's Programming languages go into XML and XQuery evolves towards programming languages. I don't know which branch will be more powerful or in the long term. And, uh, the future will tell. Yeah. I'm having fun with XQuery, so okay. there are enough customers, enough people that like it, so I'm having fun. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.